how's it going? Um, it is a couple days earlier before our weekend camping trip. It's pouring rain outside, so hopefully it is better weather this weekend. I'm just starting to get my stuff together, particularly my clothes, and get the packing process started before the weekend. So I thought I'd show you what I've kind of put together, considering it's actually very few things. And I'm kind of nervous because I think this is the least amount of stuff I've ever packed for a trip. Excuse the mess. Like I said, we're in packing mode. So things are kind of everywhere in our room right now. But yeah, this is, this is it. We're going away for four days, Thursday to Sunday. We'll be paddling, driving and paddling to our site Thursday during the day and then staying overnight until Sunday during the day, and then we'll be paddling and driving back home. And this is it, this is all I brought. So I thought I'd go through it quickly with you before the trip gets started. And also note that I'm gonna be wearing some of these clothes in. So the shirt that I'm bringing, I'm gonna be wearing in one of the pieces of underwear that I'm bringing, I'm also gonna be wearing in. And I think for this trip, I might wear what I was going to say too, was that I think for this trip, I might wear my bikini top as my bra for the trip. But now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might actually pack a separate bra because I don't want to be sitting in a wet bikini all the time. So yeah, let's dive into it. Okay, so I got two pairs of socks. Like I said, I'll probably be wearing one in or no socks in at all and just be wearing some flip flops. I have my bathing suit. It's from Aerie, high-waisted, two-piece obsessed with this color this year as you can see from our walls in our room two underwears i have one regular t-shirt more of like a tank top um built-in bra situation top that i think i'm going to be wearing a lot just because it's going to be hot this weekend a long sleeve for in the evenings if it gets chilly i've decided to opt for just one long sleeve instead of a jacket not bringing a jacket because they're not calling for any rain and I don't want to bring it for no reason. And it's going to be quite hot. So I think this is all I'm going to need. And if I get cold, I'll grab my sleepy bag and put it around me around the fire. I have a pair of shorts. These ones are from Lululemon. They are my new favorites. They are the high-waisted shorts. Love those. Probably going to wear those all weekend. And I probably will because they're really my only bottoms. But I did pack one set of like lounge joggers that are super lightweight. They're what I usually wear around the house in the summer because it gets hot and I still want to be cozy. So they're perfect for that. And yeah, like I said, I'll probably also wear in my hiking shoes and some flip-flop strap to my backpack, but that's it. I'll be wearing a hat. If I pack anything else between now and by the time we leave, I'll let you know. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the weekend and um, it couldn't come any sooner. I don't even know if I'm even going to pack it in this bag. This is what I usually pack my clothes in just so I can compress it really tightly and keep everything separate from what's in my pack. But since weight is going to be a critical thing for this trip, I might forego this bag. But I also might bring, there's a couple other miscellaneous items that I would also want to have handy. So I might just put it all in this bag, but we'll see when the time comes. So. I'll catch you guys in a couple days or I'll probably give you an update when we start packing some other stuff as well. But that's all for now. We're starting to pull together a bunch of our other items here too, like our pillows, headlamps, sleeping pads, our tents in the basement. But yeah, just getting the packing process started. 6.85 kilo, 9.65.
so we made it to our first portage. We ended up switching up our plans. We were gonna stay on Big Cedar Lake, but then we decided to do two of our portages today and actually stay at Sac Rapids. Our second portage now. This is the last one until we get to our campsite. We have a little paddle at the end of this one, but not too long. our first campsite but we're just trying to find it now it seems to be a bit of a ways in from our next portage oh here it is it's just to my right i guess we could put the tent like right here oh there's like a little bench and stuff perfect and we're right on the rapids mm -hmm. Some wood right on the rapids. Pretty. Yeah, I think the tent right there would be good. Or here. Here's flat too. There. Hi.